Hello and welcome back to Hard Reset Info. In this video, I'm going to show you 5 security settings to enable on Samsung Galaxy A36 right now. Let's begin! Now, the very first and probably the most important option you need to choose and check every now and then is to simply go to the settings, scroll all the way down and go to the software update and make sure to click it and check if your device is up to date because this is, to be honest, the best way to keep your phone safe uh, as the latest security patches are the most important source of the safety of your device. You can also activate the auto download. So I wouldn't advise you to use Wi-Fi or mobile data as it could randomly drain a lot of your data. However, having it on setting, uh, setting this on to using Wi-Fi only is highly recommended. Anyway, uh, let's go into some more concrete stuff. Um, let's say you want to hide something. Let's say you have like your some sensitive information on your phone. You have sensitive images on your phone. First of all, a uh, strong and secure pin. It is also it's like probably the second most important thing. If you don't have any lock screen enabled, then you are a fool. First of all, and second of all, you have to unlock. Uh, you have to set up your lock right now. You can do that by going to settings, going to lock screen and AOD, and going to screen lock and biometrics. As you can see currently, I do have a pattern and also a face recognition. However, in putting your pattern, uh, especially like in a public place, let's say in a school or in a work, uh, when someone might just look over your shoulder, and after a few trials, few unlockings, uh, people should be it will be possible that they might recreate your pattern. So while pattern is pretty uh, handy, it is especially fast, I would advise you to um, either draw it fast way or have it really complicated. As you can see, I have only like the normal L shape right now. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to set it, up, set it up once again because I don't want really to change it. Um, or have it more complicated. And as in putting your pin is also easily seen, but probably the best way to not make sure, to make actually to make sure that your pin is not stolen, is not anything, is to just go here, okay, and put your current passwords, and enable fingerprints or face recognition, because that is not stealable, that is not something uh, someone might look over uh, by your shoulder and see. Oh, so he has an L-shaped password. That is interesting However, let's say that the password to your phone itself is not enough Let's say you have some like really sensitive information In your gallery, let's say uh, Let's just pretend that this really nice uh, picture Mm, download from the web is something really really sensitive like I don't want anyone else to see that well this is where secure folder comes in uh, in order to actually enable it and install it we have to go to the settings go to security and privacy in here scroll all the way down and go inside more security settings in here we have secure folder um, as you can see, I don't have anyone, anything created right now, so I will go and hit continue, give away a bunch of permissions, and now my phone will begin the creation of the secure folder. Now, the secure folder is a really nice feature. It basically allows you to not only clone uh, your applications, so you have two sets of galleries, two sets of TikToks, two sets of Facebooks, two sets of whatever you want, to be honest, uh, but that clone is secured by password. Uh, it is, doesn't really have to be the same password you have on your phone. Uh, I'm going to quickly demonstrate that, though... Okay, it is now created. Now we're going to choose a pin. Mm -hmm. I will go... Yeah, I will choose pin, so I can showcase you that it doesn't really have to be the same password as your normal screen lock. So let me quickly go 
and input something easy. Obviously, you don't want to input something easy. I'm just going to input 1, 2, 3, 4 because I am a lazy person. <laughs> Not going to lie. Now we can choose if we want to allow uh, the resetting of our password using Samsung account. I'm going to hit the allow, but keep in mind that if you ever forget your lock, then everything you have inside your secure folder will be gone and you won't be able to get inside of it. So now I'm going to hit OK, hit next, and now I have my secure folder right here. Uh, as you can see, we already have some pre-made applications uh, that are by default in here. However, we can add the plus icon in order to add something more. So let's say I want to add Facebook because maybe I have some sensitive things on my Facebook. Let's say I want to add Drive because maybe I have like the other account in which I also have some sensitive things, whatever. After you're satisfied, you hit add and the copies of these applications are now inside the secure folder. Now, they don't have to be them there forever. You can press and hold them and oh, press and hold and click add to home. Let's press add. And if you see right here, I'm actually going to move the gallery into here. And now we can see that we have two galleries. First one is the normal one in which I have all my uh, pictures and the other is the secured one. However, I don't really need to input my password in order to use it, right? That is pretty odd. And that is because I haven't turned off my screen. Whenever I will turn off my screen, oh, I actually have this feature disabled, I think. Uh, now, whenever I will open, uh, whenever I will try to open my uh, secured gallery, I will have to input my PIN. Um, if you want to change it to work every time, so whenever you, you like leave the application, you need to input the password once again. And uh, we can easily set it up by going into secure folder, by going into the three dots here, and then clicking settings. And right here we have auto lock secure folder. We click it. And now we can switch from when screen turns off to each time I leave an app. So now if we go back to our gallery uh, and if we leave it and let's go try, oh, that doesn't work. Do we have to, oh wait. Okay, it, it is working. And though it is working with the secure folder, which is pretty funny. Huh, that is interesting. Let's try to restart. Okay, now it's working. I don't have, I have no idea why it took so long. But now, uh, having the password is working. And lastly, of course, you probably want to know how to move something into the secure folder, so it isn't actually secured, obviously. And you can do that by, well, in my case, going into gallery, and going into the file that you want to choose, uh, that you want to move, so I'm going to choose uh, this nice picture of the moon and I'm going to hit three dots at the top right corner and press move to secure folder. Now we also have to input our pin. Oh, that is misclick. And as you can see, the item has been moved. It disappeared from my normal gallery. But if I try to oh, go into my normal, uh, into my secured one, Oh, I, okay. Uh, we can see that our um, our picture is now here. Uh, the same thing goes with files. So as you can, as you could see, we already have the copy of my files application right here. And as any other, it is currently empty, even though the internal storage is showing that is already 30 gigs. Um, the images aren't really here, except the ones that we moved to the gallery. Uh, the process of moving them into the my folder is the same as from the gallery. We simply locate the application. So let's go to the normal my files. Uh, I wouldn't have any videos, so we only have uh, the images. But we can also press and hold this, click more into these three dots. And just like uh, before, we simply go 
and press move to secure folder. Okay, but I think that's enough about secure folder. Uh, let's go back into the settings themselves and let's switch a few more things up in order to enhance our security on our Samsung Galaxy A36. First of all, let's go back into security and privacy. And let's make sure that you have your auto blocker enabled. Whenever we click it, we have, uh, well, we can see a nice uh, handful of, a handful list of all the things that Autoblocker does automatically in the background. So as you can see, it blocks apps from unauthorized sources, it blocks commands from any USB cable, it also blocks malware uh, or non-official software updates. It's a really nice feature, it is nice to have it enabled. The only con I can actually think about is that you can't really use any secret codes on your dial pads when you have Auto blocker enabled. Anyway, uh, let's leave it. And as you can see, uh, we have pretty uh, well. Actually, two things that our uh, that are not working. We are not current currently logged in into Samsung account, uh, which is unfortunate. And we don't have app protection enabled. So we can go here and enable our app protection. So we simply hit turn on. But I think it is... Uh, maybe it is? Okay, it is not. Uh, I thought it was something only and I would have to log in into my Samsung account, but I don't have to. And now, if you have this setting enabled, you can scan your phone and this app, this feature will automatically scan uh, each and every of your applications in search of uh, like any trace of malicious software and if it finds any, it will get rid of it. Or it will tell you, hey man, I found some malicious software. What do what you want to do about it? But I don't think I will have any malicious software as I've been aware on how I use my phone. Yep. As you can see, it is uh, perfectly clean. Now lastly, uh, some nuts. Well, you have to be protected from the inside on your phone that is why auto blocker and up security comes in but you also need to be protected from the outside so we want to also want to go into security and privacy and go to lost device protection and go to not only find my mobile which is also a pretty nice feature it allows you to find your mobile obviously and uh, whenever you lost it you can uh, remotely lock the screen you can uh, remotely play a sound, even if you have like sounds disabled right here. Uh, you can also, you still have the ability to play uh, a certain sound at max volume. Uh, and in here we have theft protection. Uh, pr there are many, actually there are three uh, features here. For me the most important and probably, like it doesn't really cost you anything to enable it, but theft detection lock. Uh, is a really nice feature and I would also advise you to turn it on. As you can see it will automatically detect if someone is taking your phone and like suddenly moving away from you. Uh, as it may be a sign of theft, obviously. But yeah, that is all for this video. I really hope you found something useful here. If you did, remember to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.